McKenzie therapy is a specialized form of physical therapy that works with certain exercises and teaching you how to do those exercises on your own as treatment for your cervical herniated disc. I had a chance to talk with a licensed McKenzie therapist, Hema, and get her impressions about what she does with McKenzie therapy to treat the cervical herniated disc. It, McKenzie exercise, it, their, their strategy is to help patients be their own therapists. Okay. Which means that the patients can self-treat themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, does, is it, is it, it, does it have a lot of hands-on? It does have, a, have some amount of hands-on from the therapist itself. When the patient cannot achieve or go progress towards their goals of getting their range back, it was developed by Robin McKenzie, who's a New Zealand-based physical therapist in okay. late 1950s, okay. and he developed this concept uh, okay. in an institution called MDT. Okay. Um, the co I mean, people uh, or common public thinks McKenzie exercises all are extension exercises, right. is backward bending, looking right. backwards. But it's really not. It's a mm -hmm. comprehensive way of evaluating patient and finding out what, uh, how is the symptoms uh, progressing, how are the symptoms uh, affecting them, and what causes uh, their pain. So this See, is so this is part of McKenzie. This is what you would yes. do as part of the evaluation or as part of the it, treatment. This will evaluation itself becomes treatment. I see. So when I evaluate and I see that this doing this actually makes their pain go lower, mm -hmm. this will be the treatment to begin with. And then they'll do this at home. Yes, yes. And as we are doing this, if they can do you know more and more, about twenty or thirty, and they could they went as far as they could go, and uh, and the pain has calmed down, then we could change. A little bit more. So right now, you see, there is a small towel uh, below her head right. because this is where she is comfortable. Mm -hmm. So when this phase changes and she feels better, just just doing 20, 20 or uh, twenty five of those, the pain starts to centralize or lower down. And if she can tolerate it, I'm just going to take this towel off and see if she can lay flat on uh, on on the bed and see if she could do a little bit more. So which means. We are trying to get more extension or retraction as uh, as much as possible within uh, her pain zone. So the McKenzie exercises are, appear to be very gentle and slow. Yes, yes. And because the patient does on their own and they can control their and how much the mobility they're going to do and how far they're going to move, uh, it, there is no overpressure on, on the patient. So it's very gentle and as they move on, it becomes you know, more a larger range and uh, it, it, to regain their range of motion and centralize their pain along with regaining their range of motion. So it's here, it seems very safe and comfortable for the patient. Yes, yes. and it's a self-treatment, self, self -treatment, of course. Right. Yeah. It, the, the physician or the physical therapist uh, guides the patient to do which exercise and how many and how many times they should be doing and how far they can go. And the patient is instructed upon their symptoms, whether it's, it does it go down more, the, more in their arm as they're doing it, then we tell them to stop that exercise mm -hmm. and get back to the therapist and you know talk to them. Okay, I did these exercises at home, I feel like my arm pain is increasing, then the approach changes. And then we, we reassess and see if is it actually causing it, you know, pain down the arm. Then we make it a little bit easier uh, for them or uh, uh, change the exercises so it does not cause uh, peripheralization. The bottom line is that McKenzie therapy may offer benefit for you if you have a cervical herniated disc. Make sure you get a good qualified and licensed McKenzie therapist to do this because this is detailed work. You'll know within a week or two whether it's for you, and if you're getting better, you can continue. If not, then move on to another type of therapy.